Good morning. Um, I said I was going to do a follow-up video of uh, honoring Pastor Art. Next month it will be his um, celebration of life service. Some people call it a funeral, but we're not going to have anything drab about it because we're going to be joyous that our pastor has been in heaven for almost a month at that point. And um, one of the things that I do want to stress is a couple things. Pastor Art loved definitions and defining what words were. And uh, if you knew what the definition of a word were, he would start off with that, a lot of his sermons with that. And I enjoyed that aspect because he showed where the boundaries were and what we were on the same page as far as when he was preaching. Um, another thing about past art was the fact that he had a wicked, not a wicked, a good sense of humor. Let's put it this way, a great sense of humor. He cracked jokes and cap on people, but he did it in love. He didn't, he didn't do it if he knew someone was sensitive or he knew someone couldn't handle a joke. He'd, you know, he'd watch his boundaries, but at the same time, he had a sense of humor like no one else. Uh, smart as a whip, you know. You have to be smart to have, to have a sense of humor. And that man was joyous. He loved life. He loved people. He loved Jesus. He loved the fact that God saved him and changed him, transformed him, and he wanted to share that with everyone. Another thing was win. He always stressed winning the loss individual evangelism, neighborhood evangelism. Um, we have a mission field in our own backyard, in our own uh, job site. We don't have to go all the way to different countries uh, for three weeks and, and sing Kumbaya and all that. We, our coworkers will see us as real Christians as real followers of Jesus or they'll see us as fake or they'll see us as like wow I didn't know you're a Christian because you say nothing about Jesus at all and that's one thing that I always saw in Pastor Art um, even to the last couple of weeks even to the last week wow he wanted to see people get saved and, and delivered and transformed and people to know Jesus if no if no ands buts about it it was a fact is yeah this this is what it is it's all about jesus nothing else and he would even say himself it's not even about me it's about jesus jesus christ you know and the beauty of that is a fact is because he had no ego in that sense he was a, hum a humble man a humble servant of god I do believe that uh, God honored that with uh, this upcoming, not just Celebration of Life Memorial, but the next next years until Jesus comes back, whether it be five years, 10 years, 50 years, 100 years, that this legacy that this man of God brought forth with the Word of God, and I do want to say the Word of God, not his own self not his own name but the, with the word of god that it will continue on to generations and generations uh until the lord comes back maybe the lord will come back in two days you never know maybe the lord will come back in 200 years you never know but we got to honor christ and i wanted to just say a couple of those words for my pastor you guys have a blessed day be blessed and not stressed and uh you know i joke about that if you if i got time to listen to you i will always listen to you call me up you got my text number you guys got my text number text me all right be blessed today all right you have a good one all right god bless you